Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Camel Guys Detail Garage. It's 4th of July weekend, so it means to get your shine on. Make sure to stop by your local detail garage, pick up anything you might need to get your shine on. But in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the benefits of the Torque Professional Max Foam Cannon Gallon Soap Kit. That's right, you get a foam cannon and you get a soap in a gallon. So let's get to it. So now it's time to get your shine on. I have this Kia Optima behind me and now I have to lather it up with some amazing studs so I can get it ready for 4th of July weekend. Like my shirt, make sure to hit the link down below. We also have very cool apparel, hats, shirts. You wanna rock us? Make sure to click that link down below. But on this side, we have a Torque Foam Cannon. The Torque Foam Cannon is going to work with any pressure washer that has a minimum PSI level of 1,000 and a minimum gallons per minute of 1.6. So it also comes with a quick release attachment. It's a universal, so just attach it to your wand. Or if you wanna make it easier, make your life easier with the Torque Snubby. It's smaller, it's compact, and you don't have to be wiggling everywhere and you have more control. So I'll unattach the Torque Foam Cannon head put it right here and then I have my gallon of hybrid VL7 so hybrid VL7 is going to unleash the optical shine of this coolish darkish key optima so it's gonna enhance the depth while give it a very nice shine with just a simple wash I already attached the gallon hand pump so the gallon hand pump I like it me personally because I am working with a bigger gallon so every pump I do is going to be one ounce so let me just get the air out because it is a new pump now that it's already in there here we go. So you put the torque foam cannon bottle inside and you just squeeze down and that's one ounce. You guys can see. So now I want two ounces just so I can make sure I have enough suds to remove everything off the surface of the vehicle. So I personally recommend you washing your vehicle before 4th of July because there are obviously gonna be fireworks, so then there's gonna be stuff falling off the sky, and you do not want anything to be sticking onto the surface of the vehicle because it could potentially damage it permanently, or if it's superficial, it just wipes off after you wash it. So I just applied Hybrid VO7 to my bottle, and I'll just stir it. I mean, I'm not going to shake it, because if I shake it, I'll cause foam in here, and I want more product than foam. I want the foam outside than inside. And then I also have my two bucket method system. The two bucket method system is going to help me filter water while I have a rinse bucket and have very sudsy water on my wash bucket. So I'll insert some dirt traps. If you're not familiar with dirt traps, dirt traps is a filtration system that all you need to do is just apply it at the bottom of your bucket. It has micro braces on here. So every single time you go with your microfiber or Chanel wash mitt, you come down here, you scrub it. These cone like figures down here are gonna push it down and it's not gonna let any grime, dirt or debris rise back up into your wash bucket. So you insert it at an angle at all times so you can cause a permanent seal and it does not rise up back up while you're washing. And then we recommend going with two different color of dirt traps just like that. You know exactly which is gonna be your wash dirt trap and which is gonna be your rinse dirt trap. Me personally, I like going left is my rinse, right is my wash. So that means black dirt trap is going to be my sludgy dirt trap. So now I'll get my hybrid VL7. I'll squeeze a little bit into it. That's one ounce. That's two ounce. Yes, I understand it did fall out and land on my wash mitt, but I could just put it in here after. So now it's time to rinse down the vehicle. Let me not put that there. It looks beautiful right here. So now it's time to rinse down the vehicle. And this is a very good thing to use like a gallon pump because after you're done, for example, if you want to store it, you just squeeze it down, twist it, and it locks at the bottom so it won't be leaking. But now it's time to rinse down the vehicle just to knock off any loose grime and debris from the surface of the vehicle. Then I'll activate these amazing studs. Then I'll lather up the car to give it a perfect wash for this 4th of July weekend. Let's get to it. So we just finished rinsing off the Kia Optima. I did knock off light grime and debris, but there's a little bit heavier grime and bird droppings that did not wash off, such as so on the hood and some on the glass. But this is why we recommend using a very sudsy lubricated soap like Hyper VO7 to lather up the surface and then use a very soft wash mitt like the Chanel wash mitt. So I did drop it in my bucket already on accidentally, but it's very fluffy, very soft, and the noodle-like is going to encapsulate any dirt, grime, and it's not gonna let it drag all over the surface. It's gonna trap it, and that's when I come back to my rinse bucket, scrub it down at the bottom of the dirt trap, so I'll get a perfect wash and I do not scratch it. So with little to no pressure, I'm, I don't even have my pressure washer on, I'm just gonna spray it down, and you guys can see 
that Hybrid VL7 got activated and the suds are very sudsy and very lubricated. We want a very lubricated soap. So whenever it lands on the surface and I glide my wash mitt, the soap is safe to glide a wash mitt over it. It won't scratch and it'll give it an amazing shine. So guys, now it's time to foam up the vehicle and get the shine on. Let's get to it. So I just finished foaming up the Kia Optima. I went ahead and let Hybrid VL7 soap sit on the surface just so it could emulsify and pull off all the dirt and grime safely and easily as possible. But now it is time to scrub it down. You guys constantly comment, should I still scrub it down even though I use a foam cannon? And the answer is yes. If you want to achieve a very deep clean, we recommend scrubbing it down because there's still gonna be some stubborn grime that's gonna be seen on the surface of the vehicle that just doesn't come off just by spraying water and soap on it. So I'll be using the Chanel wash mitt. If you guys haven't checked it out, it has a very cool chemical guys banding on here. Support your brand. Any products you see on here, make sure to check out the description. We'll put them all right there. So now you're going to your soapy bucket get it very sudsy and look this is why I love hybrid VL7 because it's very sudsy and very lubricated. Now I'll go to the surface of the vehicle and I'll go to the highest point of the vehicle and I'll work in linear motions. The reason why we recommend going to the highest point of the vehicle is because we want to ensure you do not work double and by that I mean if I start down here and then I work up here all the grime that was sitting up here is going to land down here and now to re-scrub it. So go in linear motions and one cool thing that I like to do is flip over my wash mitt to the uh, new clean side and I'll go and do the same exact thing around the whole entire vehicle. And yes, you could go side to side. You don't just have to go up and down. You go side to side. But now, after you have some dirt encapsulating your wash mitt, you'll go to your rinse bucket right here. And remember, I have a dirt trap at the bottom. So the dirt trap is going to help me filter out any grime, debris, that will sit on the surface of the wash mitt. So we'll scrub it and now I'll come outside the and I'll rinse it off. This is going to ensure me that I remove all grime particles from the wash mitt. Now I'll go to my foamy bucket, get a little bit more suds and I'll do that around the whole entire vehicle. So you guys check this out. I'm going to clean up the whole car. I'll see you guys after to show you guys the results. There you guys have it. You guys saw me foam with the Key Optima using the Torque Professional Max Foam 8 Foam Cannon Gallon Soap Kit. Hybrid VL7 brought an amazing shine on this Key Optima. So guys, this shine is already on. Now it's time for you to get your shine on. Make sure to stop by your local detail garage or head over to our website, chemicalguys.com. Pick up any of these products or check the link down below. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time right here at the Chemical Guys Detail Garage.